What up, guys? Over here, DNA Slithers and Critters in the in the reptile room. It's hot. We keep it nice and humid in here. Um, one thing you'll see, just got this brand new humidifier. Uh, it's like 130 bucks at Home Depot. Has 45 hour runtime, 3.5 gallons, invisible mist. Um, I love it so far. It works great. Might do a video on that later if you guys want to uh, me to do a product reviews of anything that we do here at the shop. Just let me know. Um, I've been using these monster cages back here, as you can see. Um, we're changing that girl's big old water tub right now. Uh, sh thing is with anacondas, they will poop in their water daily, and if you don't clean it as soon as they do, um, it can actually cause bacteria and it's not good for them to be sitting in their waist um, regardless of the snake so I have my wife upstairs she is aware of anything that's going on I have a speaker over there um, if I need a call for her I can otherwise we got our handy dandy fireball I'd have my wife down here look at all those flies Jesus um, handy dandy fireball. I'd have my wife down here, but she's just here for more emotional support and to throw the alcohol on me. Anyway, I'm familiar with these guys. Uh, they're really calm. She has been from a friend who has never had any issues. Um, I've never had any issues or reason to worry. Of course, I always take precaution. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this lady's water. Last time I did it, I had about a three gallons of urine and poop water down my pants so you may get a show you may get not um, for my sake I hope I don't get poop on me but drop a like hit the subscribe button we're gonna be doing more videos trying to do daily videos if not every other day we have 30 or 23 22 snakes uh, six lizards seven lizards if you don't count crested geckos, some other stuff like that. But we'll be doing videos on them as we progress. Without further ado, this is uh, Big Annie. She is a proven breeder. If you can't hear me, I'm sorry. Um, again, my wife's upstairs. I don't have anybody here. So I got my bucket. I got a fresh water. I got a bucket to dump this. I got a tub to put her in. So let's get this thing going so I can get on to the next thing, huh? good of course you can see it's it's all over me but better than on my pants like last time it goes all over the floor is bad you do not want to put freezing cold water back in there because that could put her in shock so you want to make sure that water up to temp and on point because 
because you don't want to do that to them. Um, you know, it'd be like us jumping in a freezing cold shower after we've been in 80 degree water. It's going to be a bit of a intense change more for them than it would be for us. throw some of that in there just kind of dampen it up or dry soak some of that moisture oftentimes when she gets out of the water it rises and spills out they like it really humid but I'm more worried about bacteria um, of course you know we change it every two weeks but between then and now you know you get 60 70 percent humidity in the room with 80 or 90 in the cage you know that's quick warm weather or warm environment that's quick for breeding bacteria and we don't want that. We sell refuge chip here at DNA. If you need it, we got it. Of course, if there was any kind of calcium buildup or poop or anything in there, I would uh, go ahead and scrub it, but since I'm doing this almost every other day, I scrubbed it last time, I scrub it every other time. As long as there's not poop on it, of course. So now that we got her, now that we got her all settled back in and she's ready to go back into her cage, what I usually do is I'll put her into the other side. It seems to work a lot better that way. I'm um, sorry again if you can't hear me, guys. Uh, I got a fan right behind here and a space heater. So we're working with the best thing we got. this big you definitely don't want to ever drape it or across your neck this isn't bad because I still have one side of my neck free of course she could easily come up there and just wrap me up big Annie they're so slippery at this part when they're all wet like this big girl let's get her in her cage in here guys it is so hot <laughs> I know I'm not an attractive model like you were hoping I'm sorry back there's my iguana's room he's in, he'll be a fun video let's just put it that way because the whole time he's gonna be coming at me I got welding gear on it's really intense 
Look at this girl. She's being stubborn. She's on a food strike right now. She hasn't eaten for me since I got her. Um, you know, temps are on point. Everything's on point in here. Um, just sometimes they don't want to eat when they get that big. You know, they can go two to three months easily. She hasn't lost a ton of weight. She seems healthy. No, uh, you know, RI or any of that. I love this girl. A white platy sun tiger. I got her from uh, Noah over in K Kentucky. Man, it's hot in here. I don't know about you guys, how you keep your room. Here's a cool guy. So he takes dumps like on a daily. It's just insane. Look at her though. Just slowly creeping around. As soon as I open this thing, look at that. She just pushes on that thing. What's up, girl? If this video is about you. I should, I should be giving you attention, huh? People say these animals are man eaters and stuff. You know, I always say just because it can doesn't mean it will, but don't trust it and give it the opportunity to do that. Um, you know, you got to respect these animals at the end of the day. They're powerful, they're huge, they know it. Um, you know, I personally, when I first got into snakes and retics and all that, I was not scared. But when I started doing snakes, I thought people like me were crazy. I'm like, why would you want a snake that could eat you? This is just too much power for me. Um, for me, I come to respect them and know that this is an animal that you have to truly be on your guard with um, at all times and prepare for something that could happen. Um, but as long as you're properly handling them, you know, majority of the time it won't happen. But if I come in here marinated like a rat after being in the shop all day, breeding rats and stuff, cleaning tubs, um, you know, that's, you know, shoot first question, shoot first, ask questions later. That's where they're at with this. And, you know, it's not their fault that I didn't shower before I came. So why, why hold them to blame? And these animals, people worry about what if it gets out. You know, I live in Colorado. It won't do well in the cold, let alone the dry climate for these particular animals. Um, they need humidity. They can actually get sick from not having enough humidity. You can get up to 30 feet. The females are bigger than the males. Um, I personally love the big animals. I got a good food source, so why not, right? This girl is super skittish. Oh, she's got some poop in the back. I'm gonna have to clean that up. Um, I won't do this one till later tonight when my wife is down here with me, just because she is aggressive. You gotta watch out for her. But, you guys have a wonderful day. Believe in all you guys. I hope you're doing good. Having a great day.